everybody, it's Jewel here with uh, my dear friend, Mr. Kim John Payne. As adults, we're just as guilty of being addicted to distraction and excitement. We're one of the most distracted societies right now at this time. As adults, our anxiety is at all time highs. Um, there's such a thing as distraction addiction, where you're so used to, I think every adult watching can relate, you're so used to checking your phone for emails, your brain prompts you just like nicotine. Check your email. It's a neurological response and a neurological addiction that requires an actual detox. Actually, you taking time, putting your phone down and saying, I'm going to help rewire that habit so I'm not so impulsively distracting myself. What can we give parents as tools? Because it is so easy to want to turn the iPad on. It's so easy. <laughs> I so understand it. Even though it's creating this sort of neural addiction and this idea, something I really want parents to kind of grasp is this idea of extrinsic entertainment versus intrinsic entertainment. You know, we, we have tried to sort of raise them on this farm a bit where, look, there's gonna be areas that are beyond normal for them being children of, of celebrities, uh, but we've tried our best to keep them. And the main thing is, is I've, I've tried to shelter them from the sort of overexposure that comes from uh, feeling, feeling like they don't have control of their lives. and. And um, in our case, like in this time period now, it's such a strange thing because it's all online and it's, it's a strange uh, time where the only way to see their friends other than their grandparents who are, are the other people in our sort of pod right now is online, is like doing this very thing right here. And I feel like, and, and I feel like there's a moment that's happening in our society that's really kind of healthy in that. We used to take that cell phone and we used to sit in the corner and, and our, the room was full of people and we were on there and ignoring the room and it was separating us from people. One of the, when you look at what's going on at the moment, there's, there's a cup, there is a, there, any parent is going to look to try and balance a child's life out, you know, and it's a question of, of, of how do we balance? How do we, how do we get this back get it back into shape, add spaciousness to a child's life and declutter toys and books and clothes. And the reason for that um, is not a random thing at all. Life has gotten a little bit overwhelming for a lot of kids. They're aware that big things have changed and we can talk to them a lot about, um, about how they're okay and they're safe with us and so on. But for younger children, certainly younger than sort of eight or, eight or nine years old, th th that's okay. It's good to say it. But what they're really going to pick up on is when things are orderly and spacious. So when the world is disorderly, as it is right now, what, we can't do much about it. But what we can do is that we can make our world inside our house as orderly as possible. We've been connected as a society a long time. The internet's been around, we've been connected. But has the quality of that connection been nourishing? Has it been feeding us in a way that makes us better? Or has it been depleting us and making us more sick or ill or malnourished, if you will, energetically? And I do find this is causing people to get really serious about what actually, what type of connection feeds me versus what type of connection depletes me.